the National Federation for Conservation of Traditional Seeds and Agro Resources works for the conservation and consumption of uncultivated food crops to improve the economy and health of rural communities in Sri Lanka. This organization opens the eyes of the people to the existence of uncultivated food crops that grow wild within their own home gardens. This has therefore helped cut expenses of the people which would have otherwise been lost to the market. This is the Women's Development Foundation situated at Badula district. This foundation has introduced yams to improve the economic situation of farmers, thus increasing the food security of the community. A number of sumptuous dishes are prepared using these yams, which are more nutritious than other ground tubers such as potatoes. The high yield produce is also sent to the markets, thus serving as a steady source of income. These are the Adivasi, the only tribal community still existing in Sri Lanka, located in Mahiyangana district. Ha! 
the integrated cluster of community organizations conducts research on the usage of indigenous greens by the community in order to increase the health standards within the five Gramaseva divisions in the Mahiangana district. Here, the entire family actively participates in all agricultural activities, forming an integral part of their culture where farming techniques and traditions have been passed down through the ages from generation to generation. Pi <laughs> Wasam again a Gamman keep a come a PR abbas a caran on here. The PR abbas to Napi Hadunaga take a customer, the May Metra May that to them. Api Balua, the anchor, Dabane, Guru Guruburkina, Padeshe, a PR Pavatua, Ekata, Vida, Vadihitia, Ekalam, Vadihiti, Kantavan, Deshi, Vaidurum, Eka, Vida and Diamond Sahabaguna. A Parishan to Napi Hadunaga, Palavarga, Palavarga, you know, Kesia. කෙසේ පහලවා මේ බලාවරක විශේෂයෙන්ම අපි දැනගත්ත දේ තමයි يعني මේ ප්‍රදේශයේ ඒ කියන්නේ විශේෂයෙන් ඌව පළාතේ විවිධ බලාවර ගණනාව දැනට අවුරුදු 30කට හදලකට ඉස්සෙල්ලා තිබිලා තියෙනවා ආයෙ දික් වී ඇල්ලා මහම කැච්චා ඇල්ල 